Hornswoggled. Love it. Good one, Riley. Uh, oh, fantastic. Good morning. It's almost as good as Kitty Wampus. It's Wednesday, February 15th. I'm Gretchen Carlson. Thanks for sharing your time with us today. Kitty, please. This is an incredible story of bravery and charity. For six days, 48 women braved the cold, the altitude, and the exhaustion. They climbed to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro for one goal, to raise money and awareness for injustices faced by women and children across this world. Three of those extraordinary women join me today. Kathy Anderson is the leader of the global campaign called Freedom Climb, as well as two of her co-climbers, Madison Bachevsky and Tina Yeager. Good morning to all three of you. Good morning. What I love about this idea, Kathy, and it was the brainchild of you to come up with this idea, is that you have a cross-section of all different kind of women who joined you in this goal. What was it that you wanted to prove? Well, I'm not sure that it's what we wanted to prove, it's what we wanted to say. And what we wanted to say was that the, um, the injustices to women these days are far more than most people would ever imagine. And so the whole purpose was to bring a cross-section of women from around the globe to stand up for those that have no voice, for the women that are being oppressed and exploited and crushed. And so that was the purpose. So you're a grandmother, and I then we move to the mother of four, yeah. Tina. And why would you be inspired for this? I know it has something to do with your personal past, right? It does. Actually, I did have a past of being abused as a child, so I really felt strongly that um, I connected a tiny, tiny piece of what they felt, what these victims feel. Felt like I could identify with it. And then I also went to India on a mission trip and saw firsthand what happens. And once I did, there was just no way I could not be involved in do something about it. Madison, you're only 18 years old. Yes. <laughs> were your parents nervous that you were going to do this climb? My mom is the one that suggested it. So she's a brave little lady. They know me and they were proud that um, I would be doing something like this. Mm -hmm. They weren't nervous. They were excited. So I was reading the notes last night about what you went through to actually get through this climb, Kathy. I mean, this is not like going out for a jog, okay? <laughs> no. Tell me a little bit about the, the battles that you faced. Well, when you start out and you have 48 women, you're trying to get everybody organized, but you climb and um, there are no modern facilities as we would know them, no luxuries, um, and that's an understatement. Um, the hardest day was the last, the ascent day, and you're climbing up, now you're getting up to 18, 19,000 feet and there's no oxygen. And so at that point, things just start shutting down in your body, so to continue the hike was hands down the hardest thing that any of us have ever done to operate and to try to keep going through that. Life-changing experience, Tina? Absolutely. It will never be the same. Mm -hmm. Madison, is faith a reason that some of you decided to do this climb? Absolutely. In what um, way? Feeling what I find to be God's heart for the oppressed and wanting to do something about it and um, knowing that I have the means and I have hope and I want to give that hope hands and I want to reach out to the destitute and the needy and I want to be their servant because they have no one and I want to be their voice because they have no one and I find that faith was a reason that we got to the top and I find that faith is a reason that we keep going and we keep pursuing this journey and we keep doing everything that we can for the oppressed. Now, I know you want to do future climbs yes. so what can other women do if they want to get involved and join you? Well, we would encourage everyone to go to our website, www.thefreedomclimb.net, and it's going to, it's constantly being updated on different opportunities that are available. We'll have a climb in Georgia in May, and then we're planning on a, uh, a conference with a climb in Colorado in the fall. And then we'll have another international climb in 2013. I'm just looking at the group shot here. What a beautiful setting. And I can only imagine the bonding of the 48 women who did this. Have you stayed in touch with all of them? We have. Yes. We're like a family now so and a mission. And one of the things that we're really trying to um, continue to do is speak in our communities and get more people engaged in the U.S. that will join in with us and do events and such in their communities. So we'd love for people to get involved. Congratulations to all of you. I can't imagine trying to accomplish that goal, but the three of you did it. Thank you. Thank you. Good so to see you. It's late September.